Like, he will innovate as much as he can. I remember the Smash 4 days when he just he free flowed those combos. Like, it, it, it just came naturally to him. And it, it's just like, he racks up so much damage so quickly, you really have to be on your guard. Against him. And especially, I think, in Ultimate, I feel like Mario's a bit more. That up air of his is stupid, in my opinion. He, he gets so Honestly, much I feel like it goes further. Yeah. And th that always throws me off. I, I, I'll be just trying to whiff punish him, and I'm like, all right, no, I should be fine. I should be good. And then I get clipped, and then I get forwarded after, or I get laddered up. Top. Yeah, so this this matchup is basically Battle of the Ladder Conference. So Excuse me? Yeah. What ladder is for Meta Knight? The, the, Meta Knight the, okay, they barely still, work. They definitely still work. Like. You might get hit a couple of times, and then really, really comes down to from all the Meta Knight mains that I've talked to, even Ido, you have to just believe that Shadow Luke will hopefully hit. It's kind of like a 50-50 chance. Yeah, it's not like you can get that. I think for both characters, it's a lot harder to get that kill off of ladder combos, but you can still rack up a lot of damage and create a good amount of pressure with these characters up airs. Go the down tilt up air, looking for a forward air, but Crispy not giving it to him. Trying to go ahead and face out the down tilt himself. And he's just going to scoop him up one more time, down throw, leading into the reverse back air. Catching him with the fireball, however, Meta Knight has so many good recovery options that it, it's going to be really hard to sort of edge guard this character. The best that they can do is sort of like trap him or, you know, up smash out of steel. That's like Mario Classic, you know? Even yeah. though it kills later, it's still a very good option to just go out. Yeah, Crispy, you know, just spinning a little bit too hard on that forwarder. He ended up not even getting a cross up on that. So, yeah, he's just going to eat that up smash. He has Zenyu on the ledge. Can he get anything going? No, just looking for yet another forward smash with Zenyu. Is he ready for it? And Crispy keeps on trying to get something started with the dash attack, but every time, you know, Zenyu is ready for it. Like, shields hit when he just jumps out of the way. And I don't feel like Crispy is able to get any of these strong aerials to hit. I mean, that's the name of the game for Minimum. When they are trying to go ahead with to get in, it's either dash attack or it's going to be dash grab. Like, we, we've seen it for a few years in Smash 4. We're seeing it a little bit more here in Ultimate. But there's just that certain of familiarity with Zenyu that he has that Crispy's going to have to mix it up quite a bit more if he wants to get into the Zenyu. All right. Into up air, keeping Crispy up in the air. Down tilt, no punish on the no tech. He's trying to go all the way out there, but he just. Oh no! Please don't make it back. Oh, he tried to go for a cape again. Right, jumping up with that forward air. Zenyu's gonna go ahead and be fine, getting away from the tornado. And there's way too much lag at the tail end of that. Zenyu running up with the up smash. Crispy down to his last stock now. Fortunately enough for him, Zenyu is now sending an. 149. Hopefully he can avoid this three stock and as I say it, landing that back air. Yeah, but he's gonna need a lot more than a back air if he wants to possibly take this game one. Great back air to you. Whoa! I'm not sure that's a particular way. I, I like the idea though. Pretty good option. I mean, really, what he's looking for is hopefully that last hit as he's coming down. It's going to send send you so far down that Mario is going to be unable to recover. Okay, jabbing crispy to keep him at the ledge once again. That was good. Send you having to go ahead and respect and keeping that shield up. Advantage the fact that you don't really have too much lag on the dimensional game. You don't do the hitbox. And Crispy is doing a great job at sort of avoiding Zenyu. But at the same time, Zenyu isn't really throwing much out. He knows he has a solid stock lead, and so he, has a, he doesn't have to force the win here. He can just take his time to punish options when necessary. And then when he gets to a, when Crispy gets to a high enough percent, he can just go for that up smash, or maybe even a back air at the ledge. Still stuck here on this ledge. Fortunately enough, Zenyu's shield was so low that that side view, the drill, piercing through it. And there goes the tag. Zenyu getting the purple point as well. Can he get the green? Yes, he can. Getting that W. That seems like this wasn't able to get any hits in there. Like every time, Meta Knight's aerials are 
pretty darn fast, but it feels like every time he threw out an aerial, like, Zenyu was there, Zenyu was just able to avoid it. And that last stock there, just like, managing to avoid, I think that was a down air to seal it out of the smash. All right, Zenyu. Ooh, he's switching up the color as well. Okay. Oh, he's feeling himself a little bit. Feel, feeling a little festive. Right, we're going to get back to One, Stadium 2. I, I mean, I, I agree with this. I mean, Crispy kind of understands that it wasn't really the stage that it was detrimental to his loss. But uh, the only thing to look out for is the fact that Zenyu is going to suggest the ladder combo. If, he, if Crispy gets caught on these platforms, the up there leading to the super jump punch, we'll go ahead and take this out of the left sense. Unfortunately, whoa! I love the four different conversion into the grab. And here we see these free flow Zenyu combos just going all out. That was taken to the other side of the stage. And one thing I see a lot of Mennonites nice do is they, they throw out that forward smash because there is not a lot of head lag on it, and so they feel like they can get away. However, if, you, if the opponent does catch on, it's definitely punishable. Oh. Oh. Never seen that before, but Crispy able to go ahead and make it back to the stage. Last hit of that forward tilt. Able to go ahead and snatch Zenyu out of the air as well. Didn't realize that the hitbox was big enough to any. And once again, I, I just realized Zenyu is calling out the short hop aerials from Crispy. Like, once again, he knew he just punished it with up smash. Cover now jumping right up, looking for that down air, retreating to the platform as well. Make sure Crispy unable to get anything else. A great down tilt coming out from Crispy. Uh, Meta Knight ducking on just enough to hit Zenyu, getting away oh from that landing God. up air. But oh my goodness, can't Whoa. avoid everything. No. Getting dunked to the depths. He got Zenyu, just got, he got combo to four there. And Crispy. I, I don't Zen, you stop. Oh, no. Dustin, Dustin, this isn't okay. Oh, no. He's dead. He's, He's dead. Gone. He's dead. Goodbye, All right. That was, that was a, a hot-ass three-star coming oh. out from Master Zen Yao.